It's a distinctly different tone from the Chinese, regretful, almost contrite, about its balloon over American airspace. China is a responsible country that abides by international laws, said the foreign ministry spokesperson. It has no intention of violating the airspace of any sovereign country. But Chinese intentions are very much in question, for a balloon the U.S. says didn't arrive by accident. I am trying to verify the situation, she said, and speculation and hype will not help resolve the issue. Just weeks ago, a Chinese fighter jet flew within meters of a U.S. aircraft over the South China Sea. No such contrition. The timing of the balloon may have been a blunder, says one expert, but under Xi Jinping, China is willing to challenge America's power and global reach. The launching of what may well be a military balloon shows that increasing capacity of China across across the board to challenge the West, challenge the United States. Showing the path for a balloon from China, one analyst using American government data plotted the possible, though unverified, route over Canada and remarkably right over Montana, the home of nuclear missile silos, and carrying on over the continental United States. Balloons were used in war for more than 100 years by combatants to gather intelligence on the enemy. But in the space age, for the last 60 years, balloons gave way to spy satellites. But this suggests a comeback for balloons and a new technological advantage for China. Given the fact that there are advanced anti-satellite capabilities, having another option in terms of a balloon-based surveillance kit, uh, it makes a, a certain amount of sense. The U.S. angered the Chinese with their own Navy fighter jets flying over the South China Sea just last week. An incursion by a Chinese balloon in American airspace only increases tension and diminishes trust on both sides. I think that tensions will be increased. It will be harder for the Biden administration to make uh, concessions to China to try and and tamp down the rising tensions. The balloon is geopolitically provocative, and China had to know it would be. But for now, Beijing must wait. The balloon is in American airspace, and the next move will come from Washington. Eric Sorensen, Global News.